Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Foreign Energies Podcast. This is episode 60. Today is March 4th, Thursday. I just had to document that. What you over there whispering, Jan? Breathe air. Oh, I know somehow we're gonna get. Oh, you know, I was thinking the same shit. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm I'm today's host. I'm Will. We got Jose. We got Dan. Yo. Wes is still dead. Um, how you guys? How you guys doing? I'm alright. That iCarly reboot's coming out. I heard. I heard about that. <laughs> no, Jeanette McCurdy, because she had a bad experience on the show. She was. I didn't know she was. She had an eating disorder. Oh fuck. She had an eating disorder, and then they would make her character Sam Puckett or whatever, right? Her thing was eating. Oh, yeah. She yeah, constantly yeah. ate. So she'd have to eat when she didn't want to eat. And I guess that was traumatizing as a four-year-old. What, 12 four-year-old? Year old? <laughs> I, heard, I heard that the producer of that show liked... Dan Schneider. Yeah, he was like a foot fetish guy. And he was a weirdo creepo. He is and a creep. he liked touching on little boys and little girls on religious like the Pope does. He touched Gibby. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. Nah, dude. but that's what I heard. I heard like all on all of the shows he ever made, like he was like hella weird, like because he did like hella shows for Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. That's what I heard. Um, I I figured you would read the script beforehand, right? Like they'll tell you what are you applying for? It's like, oh, this girl, you know, she she eats a lot and stuff like that. Are you into that? And you're like, I mean, yeah, sure. So, I mean, she probably didn't start with the disorder. You feel me? You know what I mean? She probably developed it through the like the filming and shit, because of all the eating at yeah. the icon? or or probably just like the stress of Hollywood or something. I guess. You child know? start dude. T- child starts go through it. Michael Jackson, Coley Culkin, Demi Lovato, Demi Lovato. Yeah, she's, Demi a, Lovato, she's a crackhead, dude. dude, ain't it? Heroin addict. <laughs> Get it used right, to. dude. Used to. Allegedly. Now she has a Netflix show. Nice. That's I think. What, what is it about? Her probably. Uh, I don't know. Demi. Isn't isn't Macaulay Culkin <laughs> going out with Brenda Song? Uh, no, I think he is. Allegedly. I think he is. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Yo, Brenda Song used to be fire back in the She's day. She's still bro. fire. What She's are you talking fire. about? She's fine as well. Wendy what? Wendy Wong, bro. Wong? Brenda Song. Wendy? It's Brenda Song. <laughs> You're thinking of Wendy Wu, Homecoming Wendy Warrior. Wendy <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. I was, I was like, like, what's her name in that in that movie? Yeah, it's Brenda Song. Her name is in real life. She was the token Asian girl. Yeah. Cause she none nothing related to her being Asian and anything. She was just Asian for, yeah. just to be Asian. I guess. I, I don't even know if she was Asian. Mm. Chinese? Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause in her, for example, for what Sweet Life, uh, she was just what was she adopted? Nah, she her dad owned the hotel. Yeah, I know that, but was 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 wasn't she still adopted by that guy or? Nah, was her that, actual dad? nah, it was her actual dad. Okay. They never showed her dad like in the version. I don't remember them showing the mom too much either. They never showed the parents. I don't think her parents. They never showed her parents. I'm pretty sure they showed the mom. Nah, I don't think so, B. Yo, fuck it. What's they name? showed Zach and Cody's mom. I don't... Yo. <laughs> is it Zach and Cody's mom that was fired then? Yeah, she used to sing at the hotel, and that's why they lived there. She used to be a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. She dude. used to fuck on Mr. Mosby. Ooh. I, I don't know. I used to like I used to like the little... Um, I, think gonna say, I used to like Mr. Mosby. I ain't gonna lie <laughs> to you. you know she I mean? didn't have too much... She, she had like a... I don't even know what the, the fuck short kind of hair. The short, yeah, hair. short hair. The short hair. The short hair. I, I fucked it the then. I sexual know, awakening. A sexual awakening. <laughs> you know, I, like moms. Like, <laughs> I like soccer moms. Mm. I guess, bro. <laughs> I guess. If you're into that. Yeah, if you're into that, G, that's your thing. Go ahead. We'll like Ashley Tisdale. Ashley Tisdale. I still like Ashley nah, Tisdale. I'm nah. Not. <laughs> Ashley Tisdale wasn't really my thing. Blonde white girl, dude. Can't get better nah. than that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the 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 ugly sister from Victoria Justice. She wasn't the ugly sister, from Victoria, bro. From she from was Victoria the finest Justice. one in that fucking show, bro. Yo, she was the ugly sister. No, that bro. That was her character. No, bro. She nah, was nah, a, nah, she was nah, nah, always nah, one. Nah, she was nah, always, nah. Her Cappers, character. Cappers will listen. say. Cappers will say Ariana Grande was the finest one on that no, show. Listen, but real ones no. I'm saying. But real script, ones no, on bro. Based on the script, she was. The, she was supposed I don't to play give a one. fuck about. Who cared about vanity. I don't give a fuck that. about what the script say or what it don't say. Dude, Jade though knows what I see. <laughs> You feel me? And she was the finest one on that show. You're tripping. Fuck Jade Victoria was the Justice. Finest one on there, dude. Victoria Justice can suck a dick. Victoria Justice. She was gross Vic- looking. Victoria Justice was the worst character on that show. She was the worst one. I agree. Trina had character. Andre had character. Obviously, Andre. Andre's the best looking person there. Now. You feel me? <laughs> Be- nah, Beck. 
back. <laughs> it's back. You feel me? You can't get better than that. So the hockey guy. I don't know. The actor or whatever. Jade. So fire, guy. dude. Jake. Shout out. Get on the podcast. And then Ariana Grande is Ariana Grande. And then. You Jay. know, I never thought, you know, I never really thought Ariana Grande was like attractive. You know, just for, I don't know why. And I guess she could probably say the same for me. But who cares? We're talking <laughs> about me now. <laughs> She's out here right now and yeah. I'm here. Yeah, bro. When she gets on here, then she then can, she can defend herself. Me. So get on. Why it's- aren't you attractive to me? <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> a little a little like a segue. Can facts. You put you put two people on and you're just like old man yells at Sky. <laughs> <laughs> For twelve hours. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, dude. I, but I don't know. I, I never found her attractive, bro. Iron Grande. Yeah. She was very white in that series, dude. She, she was pasty for, in there. for me, bro. Her head, her head is too big for her body, bro. Or she, feel me? She got she, too much head on her, bro. She, <laughs> she got a little bit of that head down, baby. She got we a good. lot of skull on there. She got a fucking, <laughs> she got a football helmet, bro. She walking around with a fucking, you know what I'm saying? A hockey mask. You, you feel me? You don't like the lollipop girls, bro? Nah, I don't like that. You shit, don't like bro. them, bro. Like skinny with a big head, bro. Nah, bro. Can't do it for me, bro. It's the best ones. He like he like big with small head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's my thing. Big with small head. Yeah, I like little pebbles. Yeah, head, bro. Dude, imagine like comically that. Comically small head, bro. <laughs> Dude, imagine that, bro. He like to grab the top of the head with just one hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like manly ass arms, bro. Yeah. Like hair on the arms. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo. Yo, <laughs> tell me how I was playing my monkey game the other day, bro. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, dude. I lost two chimps, B. <laughs> two fucking around in the jungle, lost two chimps, B. Damn. Unbelievable. I'm in the fucking tree, right? I'm like, okay, I need to find some fucking plants. I need to start. You feel me? I need to get going. They're waiting for me to evolve. <laughs> I climb down, bro. I'm like, boo, 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 looking for shit. All of a sudden, fucking tiger comes out of fucking nowhere, scratches the shit out of me, bro. I'm trying to dodge, and I'm trying to get on the tree, but he doesn't want to climb the shit, so I keep falling off. So I get hit like six or seven times, bro. I'm about almost dead. I I managed to get climb on a tree, bro, and then the weather takes me in the night. So cool. They transfer me to a different monkey body. I go out again. I'm feeling good. You feel me? This is a healthy monkey. You know what I'm saying? So you died. Yeah. So when you die, you get to another monkey. Yeah, because you have like a you have like a clan of them. You feel me? You have like a group of monkeys or a group of chimps, I should say. Mm -hmm. Chimps are monkeys or apes. So a group of apes. Um. So yeah, I have this group of apes, and then they transfer me to this new ape body. I feel good, healthy ape. You know what I'm saying? Go out. Starts getting cold, bro. And you need to eat like cold resistant plants that you find. Couldn't find any. Lost him to the weather too, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> Maybe just a bad monkey, bro. Ape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad ape, bro. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to figure it out, but it's hard, me. It's hard because it's like it's hard being an ape, man. I can't survive out there in those weather, <laughs> bro. Because it's like, all right, you have to use all your senses, right? But they don't tell you nothing. It's like you try to find uh, different plants, but all the plants look the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and you don't, and it's like limited what you can pick up, so you can't pick up everything. But like, you know, it's weird, but it's hard to. It's, I don't know. Imagine how the monkeys feel. That boy said it's too realistic, you know. I I don't know. I can't it's not like I can just look at shit, you know, yeah, like a human, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an ape. <laughs> I'm an ape. I, need, I gotta learn stuff again. I need bro. Handicaps, bro. You know how long it's been since I've learned something, bro? It's been a fat minute. I don't even know how long. But fucking <laughs> Yeah, bro, it's tough. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm Good gonna get man. there. Next week for you know, you know what I'm saying? Thing? That moment, he's he's just been traveling in the same area. Yeah, like, I'm, no, no, that's same? that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I've been going in circles because, bro, it's like I don't know if I'm supposed to bring my my the rest of the apes with me because I feel like if I do, then they'll die. You feel uh-huh. what I'm saying? They'll die on the on the journey. I feel like I can't take care of them like that. I feel like you should bring them. I tried that already, and one of the monkey babies died. Fuck a monkey baby. <laughs> Natural selection, bro. If you can't nah, survive. Bro, but what if I as, run out of monkeys, bro? What man, I, then I lose. He's, he's, the, he's, the head, he's the head ape, man. He has to make these tough decisions and stuff like that. Politics, you know, you know what the craziest part about it is? Is like there's not even like a head ape system. It's, they're all just like equal apes. Like they all have the same the same thing. Like mm-hmm. So it's just like they're all one 
You feel me? They all like share a mind essentially, and you can like switch between them. Yeah. So your goal is to like make the entire group evolve at once, you know. Uh, so it's not like, and it's not it's like a main character. Yeah, it's not like a main character. It's a main group. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. like your civilization, your colony. Okay, so you're basically just trying to pass on your generations. To yes, generations. exactly, bro. You're evolve, trying to yeah. evolve. Yes, yeah, trying to evolve, not just one guy. Not uh, so one yeah, of course people are gonna die off, man. Natural yeah, but I don't like, like I don't like I don't like it, bro. I don't like losing is the thing. I don't like when I see my little baby yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> what I basically heard was just <laughs> That's Hector, bro. <laughs> well, Hector Will doesn't wanna what doesn't wanna give up certain things to evolve. Yeah, I don't listen, bro. Sometimes bro, you just gotta give up, bro. Sometimes you gotta give up the horse and carriage to get the car, man. I I already gave him two monkeys two apes, bro. I already gave it to him, bro. You know how many people die trying to test the parachute? A lot of people. Wow, fair, fair <laughs> point. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like you gotta get. But it right. that's the thing, though. I'm trying to learn, bro. I'm trying to like figure it out, but listen, it's hard. Bro, listen, bro. You gotta do it the way our <laughs> God <aunt>. intended. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it the way like our grandma and grandpa did it. All right, you just bang a lot and then keep going. All right? <laughs> bang a lot. Hope one of the kids gets it right. <laughs> yeah. If, 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 out of thirteen, me. <laughs> out of thirteen or fourteen, seventeen, bro. You know, one of, one of them got one to. of them got to get it right. Yeah. All right, and that person continues fucking. But and the but it's but the thing is, bro. When you do that, it like skips ahead, like your time. You feel me? When you fucking? <laughs> no, because like, okay, so let's say you fuck right, and then one of the one of the apes gets pregnant. Okay. It skips the pregnancy time, so it's like a time skip. Oh wow! Oh, Dude, so you don't time. have enough time to like. Nah, this guy is fucking. See that that sounds because like it's a going hit. from like year one, like day one, year one. You feel me? And then it goes. It has like a day cycle, night cycle. You can sleep. You can, you feel me? You that have sounds to, like a handicap to me. Bro. Imagine trying to survive while pregnant. That's, That's a true. tough one. Well, I mean, you don't have to play as that ape though. Yeah, but then that ape is gonna die. Not if you leave it in the settlement. Not the settlement, but the little thing. All right, little well, area. Go in the settings and see if you can find out. <laughs> let pregnancies be pregnancies. Nah, be. Sounds like an interesting game. It is. It is. It's like an interesting concept. I want to see if I can get it. You know. I want to mm. see if I could be a human. <laughs> I want to <laughs> see if I can make human again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I want to play I'm, God. Is what it is. I mean, evolving mm. takes a lot of time, bro. I think you have to skip those years. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of. It's a lot. look at us. We're still not fully evolved, dude. I don't have wings yet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yet. yet, yet. Unless I go to Wings Plus. Ooh. Wing blue, Ooh. wing blue. That sounds like a good. Mm. Nah, bro. Like Think Danny's about how pizza. far. Yeah. Think about how far Wings Plus is from here. It's like a lot. Fifteen minutes away. From a me? long way. There's one up here. You're up here. I am up here. I live here. Yeah. Danny's Pizzeria. Yo, Danny's I'm hungry pizzeria. as fuck. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. All right. Thanks for joining us, <laughs> <broadcast. laughs> I can't wait to get that fucking that fucking Five Guys burger, B. That's just gonna be good. I have something to say. Go ahead, I'm bro. Saying, bro. You have a mic podcast. I got a new job. Wow. Wow. Congrats. Finally wow. left that shitty ass place, bro. What shitty place? Out Carlos and Peppa, 17th Street Cantina. <laughs> oh, there you go. Say it loud and proud, you baby. Sh- you're here. You're queer, and you're good to go. <clears throat> I'm saying it. I heard you're shunned over there now. I'm shunned. Yeah, they're like, yo, that bastard didn't put us two weeks in. Facts, dude. They, Even though they were going to replace you. They wanted to replace me <laughs> so many to dead ass, bro. I remember one time Karen walks up to me and was like, I'm going to replace you. <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta put on, um better work. And I was like, I am doing good work. <laughs> I <laughs> am doing good work. I think I'm doing better work than Kevin, and you're not trying to replace <laughs> Kevin. But whatever. And Kevin keeps touching us. <laughs> Facts, dude. And Kevin can't take more than two tables because <laughs> he's shitty. Kevin yeah. can't be uh, more than 100 feet from a school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two restraining orders on him. This is violating the term. At this point, I got to quit. One of us has to leave. And I left. <laughs> so Damn. you have you can have that job, Kevin. Bastard. I don't want it. Don't get on the podcast. Out of all the people, I, a lot of people can come up here. Kevin's a no-go. If I walk into this house and I see Kevin bitch ass sitting there. What you going to do? I want to know. I want to know what you would do if I brought le- Kevin here. I'm just leaving. <laughs> I'm, just, okay. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not staying here. He'll be. He'll pull some bullshit. Hey, Danny. I'm. <laughs> fuck you, bro. Fuck. No, I'm leaving, bro. I don't like that shit no more. I'm out Give him a wet willy. Give him a wet willy. Damn, bro. Throw, Swear it, back. throw it back for Kevin that <laughs> one time, man. Nah, but I left. And I'm so happy. It's good, man. <laughs> so, where you work at now? Pirates Republic Seafood Restaurant. 
They all have these Republic. long ass. Yeah, names, I heard. I, I was like, Banana Republic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> pirates Republic, dude. It's pretty cool. Where they dress like pirates and they serve you food. They, they have a it? bunch of pirates flag and it's like right by the dock or whatever. Do you have to dress like a pirate? We dress in all black and we wear eye patches. Cool. We also have a parrot. Cool. We have a parrot. Her, her, his or her name is Baby and squawks oh, all the yeah, time. Oh, like an actual parrot? Like an actual parrot, dude. And it sits there oh. and like it, squ- it squawks at people. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And it takes that was your food. good, really. Yeah. Like, I'll be walking down, like, I'll be is shimmying it, down. Is it in a cage or is it just loose? It's loose. Oh, no, I can't be. See, I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, no, 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 no. See, see. Dude, nah, put that motherfucker in a cage. Be when I walk in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that special shit. request. Yeah, right here, bro. keep that fucker away from me, bro. Nah, like it doesn't fly around. Don't care. It either. stays. It stays <laughs> in its little perch, looking around, looking evil sometimes. You feel yeah, me? Nah, making these fast head movements. I don't like that shit. It eats its little things and it squawks. And um, you see, you you don't like birds. Well, I do, but I just don't want them around me. I don't trust birds no more. I got attacked one time. A flock of fucking crows attacked me on my way to work. I punched one of them. And then <laughs> square, <laughs> square in the jaw. <laughs> you feel me? And then fucking the rest of them just came vicious, bro. They started pecking my head and shit. And I ran to work. And I... They didn't protect me. Those bastards. I'm saying, dude. And but that's dude, why he was, left. What was Birdo going to do? Eat one. He wasn't going to fight a bird. <laughs> not for you. Not for me. Kevin, maybe, but not for me. <laughs> Fuck Kevin, dude. That's just like, <laughs> man, just put that. Victor, put that as the title of this fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck Victor. Kevin, bro. You hear that, Victor? Victor. Do your job. Do your job. <laughs> nah, bro. 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 Dude, man, I'm surprised. I don't know, man. Kevin, I only worked with him a couple of times, bro, and I hated him. You know? I know how to pick people out. I'm just like, bro, I fucking hate this guy. I don't, I don't know, know if anyone is. likes him there. Nobody likes him. I don't think Kara likes him. I think she just goes on with it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that way, you know, you know, to blow him away. Yeah. Or something. Just to keep him away. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know me and Pedro don't like him. I mean, I'm not going to speak for Pedro. Dude, he's such a fucking prick. <laughs> Who? Kevin. Kevin. He's such a fucking asshole, dude. Arrogant piece of shit, bro. That was the last person I had to see at that restaurant. Oh, I walked so, in there. So he's like a bad person. No, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was just like. I thought he just had a thing for you, and that's why you didn't like him. No, he's, he's not a. Asshole, he's not a good dude. dude. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's okay. So that's he's not. A, thing. He's the not real, actually a good dude. The real okay. thing is, no. is his character. Shit, dude. Okay, he's not, a fucking. Okay. Ar- he's arrogant. He, he thinks thing? he's too good for the job. Oh, yeah. And uh-huh. it's like, it's like, wow, dude. Fucking asshole, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I always have the habit Of switching back When he's out there It's funny And the thing Like he just does Some stupid ass shit bro He just He just looks like that He just looks annoying okay. You look at him He just look annoying He has big teeth I know people in the kitchen Get annoyed by him Every time Oh they hate him He's just like Hey I need this And they're like Jesus fucking Christ Dude you're still working here <laughs> Facts man Like our, our Last time I walked in there I said bye to the kitchen I'm like are you leaving I was like yeah Like please <laughs> Please don't, don't leave us here. Don't leave him with him. All right? But, you know, I don't work there no more, so I can publicly say, fuck Kevin. I was always saying. <laughs> I was saying. In the restaurant, I'd be like, yo, I hate Kevin. Kevin walked by. But before you say him privately, fuck Kevin. Yeah, fuck Kevin. One last time. And I sat to see him, so I just, I just looked at him and I well, man, said hi, said bye. A, There's a new chapter in your life, bro. Hopefully, uh, I didn't think I was going to leave that place as soon as I did. Oh, you thought you were gonna be there for another five years, dude? Well, I thought I was gonna be there at least until fucking like until Corona blew over. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I was gonna be there longer. That's a thing. Nobody wanted. It. Did you even make a year there? I made two years. Two I was, years. I was gonna make two three years? years. I was gonna make three years in July. Damn, bro. How long have I been there? <laughs> Ooh. Well, you're still there in spirit, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm still there in spirit. No, I mean, I, I claim taxes this year over there. <laughs> yeah. Fucking passion. So that means I've been there for seven years. I mean, seven years, shit. I still have to claim taxes this year from them. So what? Did you do your taxes yet? I didn't do my taxes yet. I'm, I'm never doing my fucking taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running. I'm, running. I'm on the lamb, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm on the lamb. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> 
I, uh, yeah, I pay my taxes on time. <laughs> I'll pay my taxes. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. No, 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 I'll pay my taxes. <laughs> Not until we see the paperwork, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay my taxes, man. I paid them last year and paying them this year, okay? Relax. What about the year before that? <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. I'm paying them. What about out of the womb? <laughs> <laughs> they were taking money from me since since day one. Oh, yeah, bro. You don't want to fuck with the IRS, bro. They'll freeze your assets. <laughs> freeze my assets. Yeah. Freeze my They'll credit take all your shit, bro, for real. Yeah, the cool. IRS, bro, they're scarier than the actual government, bro. They're scarier than anything, man. Mm-hmm. Gangs don't fuck with the IRS, bro. That's a nice limp you got there. <laughs> It'll be a shame if, it covers if somebody the threw you in federal prison. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't understand taxes, bro, because, like, you have the option of doing them yourself. Yeah. Right? And the IRS knows how much you owe them, mm-hmm. but they won't tell you. Mm-hmm. You got to figure it out. But if you mess up, they audit you. And they're like, okay, so you can go to prison now. And What's the point of that? Just tell me how much I owe. I give it to you. And that's it. What's the point of, like, juggling around this shit? It's a conflict of interest. No, um, it's because just in case you have unreported. Unreported things? Yeah, like you have things under the table. Like if, for example, if I pay you today, you can uh, you can put it as taxable income. So things under the table and stuff like that, as people say, are you have to report yourself mm-hmm. versus like other stuff. It's just for extra. You know how like with people who when people don't have papers, feel me? They don't like they don't file for like checks like that go to the bank. Uh-huh. They get paid like personal checks or cash. Uh-huh. And personal checks you can just give to the bank and they'll give you a check cashing store. Right. But they're not documented. I mean, right. So they're not getting the taxes taken away. And that's illegal. Mm-hmm. So they know how much you owe for certain shit, but not everything. Because huh. if they did, you know, a lot of self employed people would be like, yo, you're fucking violating my privacy and stuff like that. Or, like, you know, people would that's why finish. That's why some, some, like, artists and shit, they get in trouble with the IRS because they they will report their like album sales and shit but they don't report what they make from shows you feel me or meet and greets and shit like that and it, it'll be thousands and thousands of dollars you feel me so then the IRS is like yo you didn't pay taxes for well, my cut, fucking millions of dollars in, in performance you right. feel me compensation uh, we gonna need we, you, we you, need I need you to that. break me off you feel me uh-huh. so that's why they get in trouble with that shit so let's say I run like a babysitting little thingy, right? I'm babysitting on the side. <laughs> let's say I got a lemonade stand. <laughs> <laughs> Do I got to report that? Uh, Yes. If not, they're going to be like, where your license at? Mm. Type shit. Unless you do it on the radar. Yeah. Mm. Say I just like, I cut people's hair in my house for free. Well, not for free, but like I cut people's hair and they pull up. And they're like, yeah, let me get a cut. I right? mean, if you're not telling nobody about it, and you feel me, if it's not too hot, you feel me, blah, blah, blah. If you're not like, if you got like a million fucking followers on Instagram and you over here flexing, you know what I'm saying? You look like you do scams and shit. They might be like, yo, it's a little fishy. But if you just like making a quick little $25 off of a fucking few cuts, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure they're not going to throw you in jail with the big boys, you feel me? With the big boys. Yeah, yeah. you probably just get fined a little yeah. bit. Or you know, they'll be like, yo, just pay There's this. levels to this shit, bro. Yeah, there's, they're, they're not going to go get some guy who's just selling like fucking chips at his yeah. fucking house. You feel me? It's more of, you know, other shit. Like things that matter. It's like an <laughs> onion. Like guns. With layers. Yeah, like guns. Like if you're fucking out here distributing guns and like the government like, yo, we're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> <Take my jab. laughs> but they're not ready to talk about that one. <laughs> Propaganda. I had another example. Uh, prostitution. No. <laughs> you gotta pay taxes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's illegal, so you don't have to. You gotta tax that pussy, but <laughs> tax yeah. the prostitutes, man. <laughs> you know how mad I'd be if I was a prostitute and I got taxed? Yeah, that's probably the hardest part about being a prostitute, right? It's mean. taxing. <laughs> yeah. Pros- also, also uh, the reason why they tell you to report is because if you apply for, like, financial aid or, like, um, other, you know, services that, you know, figure out how much income you have, um, it's easy to do fraud like that mm-hmm. if you don't report how much you make. Mm. That's another reason why. There's a lot of reasons why. You know what I mean? But on the surface, a lot of people are just like, yo, I don't want them taking my money. <laughs> you know? Those but, bastards. But there's a reason. they. And also, if you, re- allegedly, uh, if you report your earnings and stuff like that, they report it to the, you know, I guess the world and, you know, 
it changes, you know, exchange rates and all that shit. You know what I mean? How how poor the country is versus, you know, and all that econo- economy and all that. You hear that, Dan? So if you don't pay your taxes, this country will go into the garbage. It's going to be your fault. Specifically me. Yeah. I have to pay my taxes. Our Everyone taxes else. go to schools, ambulances. It's bullshit, like bro. I don't have any fucking kids. You see, I mean, I but don't got no motherfucker. I don't got no stake in schools right now. <laughs> but I mean, I, it's, so I should choose what my understand. money goes to. I mean, I, I think we're on this together. Fuck that. Fuck, Fuck that, that, dude. I want. I need Fuck the best killer be killed out here, boy. <laughs> get what you need. But fucking um, I don't know. Like what? Don't don't some taxes go to the roads and shit? Yep. Any city, every city job. Mm. That's Everything. where our taxes go to. You know what I don't get? When people walk into like they, well, not that I don't get it. I get it because entitled legs. entitled people are entitled. But when like they walk into like um officials' office or whatever, like the fucking cops or like fire people or whatever. Fire people. Fire people. <laughs> hey, fire people, go take care of fire. <laughs> no, nah, they'll be like, I'm your boss. I pay for your I pay for your salary. It's like, no, you're not. I mean you're paying for my salary. I got they pay for the salary, right? Yeah. Uh, they it's it's yeah. It's like the the fund they like it's basically They fund it, I guess. They it, it goes through the system and it turns into funding for like this the the, the police or the fire department. I mean, so that turns into their like, like their budget essentially. So we're not their boss, obviously. Well, I mean, nobody's nobody's boss, bro. Authority doesn't exist, and all these titles are fake. But I mean, <laughs> I now know because they didn't hire him. I guess those cops, those cops wouldn't entity. do it for free. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When they when somebody in title goes in there and says, "Hey." I pay for whatever, buddy. It's usually because they probably have, you know, their thumb on that specific department, uh-huh. and they just say, like, listen, like, I'm I'm paying for your shit. It's like you know when um, I don't know when your parents cut you off. They're like, listen, we're gonna cut your credit card off because they have authority over you. You feel mm-hmm. me? I guess I guess you know for some places, you know, when when it's corrupt, it's like, dude, you you I have the word for you to lose your job. Mm-hmm. So it's basically like, yeah, I'm your boss. But like, you know, I I I sign your check, basically. Right. I'm the reason why you still have a job. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Type shit. So it's like. And then sometimes it's just people who just think just because they have money, they have authority. So it's a mixture. You know what I mean? Sometimes they see it work for another guy who actually is in the system. Like, you know, he's corrupted the system. And he's like, oh, it's because he has money. But he doesn't know that it's because, you know. He has some inner workings in there. So the guy's like, ah, it's because he has money. So you, the next time he's at an Arby's, like, yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people get so power hung- hungry so fast. As soon as they get a little bit of power, literally anybody. It's addicting, bro. Is it? Being able to tell people what to do? Yeah. Like Have the, you ever been in a position where you had to tell people what to do? No, nah, I've never had been in that position. And then you can never say what you would do for sure, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean... Think about it, bro. On a large scale, right? Let's say, like, whatever. Whatever the case is. But you have all of these people idolizing you. You feel me? You are... If you have people over here calling you God, you feel me? You have people, you know what I'm saying, bigging your head up. That shit, that should get to anybody, bro. You feel me? Because then you start telling yourself that. It's like, maybe... Because it's either you tell yourself... No, nah, I'm all right. I'm not that bad. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, or you tell yourself, yeah, I am that good. Damn, bro. Like, shit. Like, they're right. You feel me? I'm, like, here for yeah, a I'm out here. You start believing it. Yeah. And then you, you're as crazy as they are. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. And then they're like, yeah, do as I say. You're like Tom Cruise and making people t- join Scientology. I believe in Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is Scientology? I saw fucking. Um, a South Park episode, and there was like they were making fun of it. And they were like, "This is what they actually believe." It's like this giant space alien thing that like it was like a war or whatever. Uh-huh. And I then, think they believe that we were dropped off here by an alien cel- civilization. Citadel. <laughs> yeah, <Yep>. Citadel. <laughs> the Citadel of Ricks. An alien corporation. <laughs> civilization. <laughs> but yeah, something like that. And then they're just, I think they're waiting for the mothership to bring them back home. Do you guys yeah. think aliens are real? Yeah. Yes. 
We're too insignificant for them not to be. Think so? Big facts, yeah. Yeah, did you see how big this fucking shit is, bro? Aliens would be pretty. You know cool. how far the moon is from here, bro? I don't think I don't think aliens are as far as we think they are. I think they're closer. I think they're, they're just cooling. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, bro. they probably got some fucked up things going on. Though. I mean, as fucked dumb up as us. us. Huh? They're probably as dumb as us. Think so? Do, would you rather us be the 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 top of the advanced civilization or the bottom? Bottom. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty bottom, sure we are bro. the bottom. Cause then that means we still got shit to figure. Shit, it still gets better, you know. No, I mean, cause I'm, I'm an optimist. Like, <laughs> not because it's like no, not only like with the peak. Like we can still learn you, at the top. You can still learn. Cause there's you no mean peak. like top as like the top dogs. Like, yeah, like, like we like, the heavy hitters. In, in, in terms of like advancement, like you know what I mean. Like oh, gee, there's probably another planet, not. and they're still like riding horses or whatever they got. I over there. hope we're not the top, dude. If we're the top, uh, dude, no. we're a shitty top. Cause, it, cause then it's like, cause then it's like, damn, bro, it's kind of a waste, you know. It's like if we're if we're the number ones, bro. You feel, you feel me? me? Yeah. Like this whole like in in this whole shit, like this yeah. big, like we're mm, mm, that's that's a lot of space to take up, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Now, I would like to be number one only because uh, there's probably that 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 leaves room for like other people to be more advanced, and they're just like, right, look at these clowns, look at it, zap them. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I definitely don't think we're on the top. Are we on the bottom though? Because there's like, there's a spectrum to this. We're mid tiers. <laughs> I, mean, I think we're we're probably we're like C tier. Yeah, we're definitely not at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Eh. Bottom would be like microorganisms. I mean, microorganism organisms kind of snap though. <laughs> but I mean, they can't fly. You know what I'm saying? They don't got planes. We got planes, dude. We got taxes. We got taxes, bro. We got imaginary paper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ooh. we're at the top. Oh, yeah, come on, bro. They actually no, that's what currency. I'm saying. Like, some, there's probably another, like, if there's a civilization, they're like, oh, dude, they're fucking idiots, dude. They're over there paying for taxes and stuff like that. How you paying rent <laughs> somewhere you live? <laughs> I'm saying. I'm over here. I just claim a tree all the day. <laughs> I pee on it. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really that simple. That guy's over there breaking his back. Breaking his back. <laughs> breaking his papers on that even is <laughs> idiot. <laughs> nah. I, I guess. I guess at that point, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's it's, it's all perspective at that yeah. point. You guys still pay for water, <laughs> dude? It's everywhere. <laughs> Just drink it. You need it to live. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. But like, what do what do you think the fucking aliens look like? Probably, Probably like you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever their environment uh, allows them to look like to live. I would. I would what hope. I, meant. <laughs> I would I hope. I see what you mean. Would they? Would? Because they probably want to look. If if it's the conditions that's exactly like ours, they would most likely maybe look like us. But if it's not, if if the recipe doesn't call for that, then they're gonna look hella different. I feel like it's. I feel like it'd be very like disappointing. Oh, very disappointing to see aliens for the first time. I feel like they're just gonna be like low key, just look like us, but just a little bit more advanced. Maybe like a couple things off. It's like, oh yeah, their nipples are a thing. Now, you know, <laughs> yeah. we have cone nipples, dude. And then it's, I can see that. Like maybe like have some like. Some different like j- like face features, maybe so. just like longer fingers or bigger eyes. But it's not going to be like the the overly character. But like they're whatever. not going to be little and green. Little and green, you feel me? They're not going to pull up with like fucking zap guns and be like, hey. Or maybe they do. You yeah. never know. I think it'd be pretty chill. You never pretty know. Cool. Maybe we're so advanced that we actually got it right on the net when we thought about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. And, uh, the, they're, they're, the aliens are probably like, yo, these guys are pretty smart, bro. Fuck that. I'm yeah, not going you know what we look there. like without even yeah. looking at us? Fuck. We're not going over there, bro. Or maybe they're formless, bro. Maybe they don't even have a form. It's just energy. Yeah. That'd be pretty chill. Mm-hmm. Ghosts. 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 <laughs> this guy believes in ghosts. <laughs> the movie Ghost. You look like Emperor mean? Palpatine over here, man. You look like Emperor Palpatine. Mm-hmm. Emperor's like no groove. <laughs> I'm just chilling like this. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That boy got the UPS jacket on. Man, bro, I really can't wait to eat this fucking food, bro. All right, thank you for joining. Us. <laughs> it's in 34 minutes. Bro. Nah, nah, I'm not saying. I'm not saying let's end it. Man. I I'm think just he saying. had like, pretzels over there. Oh, know. do you have pretzels, bro? Because if you do, I'll I'll fuck them up, B. Damn, bro, how the fuck?
<laughs> I don't fucking do that shit. I think I got hot wing pretzels. I think that's what those are. All right, can I get some? Go ahead. All right, cool. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all talk amongst yourselves. Among us. Among us. There's a humongous fungus among us. Fungus amongst us. But yeah, Dan. I think it'd be pretty cool though. Like I, I, hang I out see. With aliens? Hang out with aliens. Be Illegal cool. aliens. No. <laughs> Illegal aliens. Her? I already hang around them. Those my, those my yeah. people. When you come back, do the camera thing. Freaking um. Now nah, I think it'd be pretty cool though. Like imagine you just have. They probably are more intelligent than us though. I mean, if they make it here before us, then yes, I would assume so. Unless they just they're carried by their um, resources. Because mm-hmm. we've been taking a while though. I mean, we're also fighting with uh, amongst ourselves, so that stops us. Yeah. yeah like if mean, we were all just like, hey, let's fucking let's all work go together. Somewhere. We get like Russia stuff, fucking. Yeah, I got water, bro. Yeah. Can yeah. I have a water? Sure, man. Will, can you get me a water? But, um. Por favor. But you see how, for example, here, it's like, oh, you know, Russia got to be first, or like China got to be first, and stuff like that. Like, uh-huh. Or, um, my people are more superior over yours. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I can't imagine what it's like out of space where it's just like, oh, this planet's where it's at. We're, we're very competitive. Uh huh. You know what I mean? It's a competitive nature over here. But I think that's, I think that. Probably translates no matter what species or where you where you are. I, I think every animal, even animals, are competitive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that. So. Eat or be eaten. Yeah. So that that that's, would, that's everyone's mind mindset. So that's why, I, that's probably why we haven't seen anything. And so. because if if you know by chance, since everything is so fucking far away, by the time they even get a message here, they're already gone. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? In my own house, damn. Um, <laughs> on his birthday? On my birthday? Nah, bro. Your month is over, B. Nah, it's it's right. my month now. It's my birthday now. It's my month too, dude. Fuck you, bro. It's my birthday. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway, Fuck you. <laughs> I'm still going to say the joke. <laughs> Doesn't matter whose birthday it is. Think you're better than me? Uh, but, uh, you think you're better than me? <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. Like, imagine, bro. Sometimes, as they some people say, you look out in the sky, you see some stars. Those stars don't even exist anymore. The ones that you see, some of them are dead. Word. Already. I had a teacher put it into perspective like this once. She told me that somewhere far away, there's an alien that could be looking down at our planet and still be seeing the dinosaurs. I was like, wow, that's cool, man. Dinosaurs yeah. are pretty cool. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool to see <laughs> yeah. a dinosaur. Like they, 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 they do some cool shit. They're big. They had feathers, maybe. Feathers, maybe. There's probably a chance. The dodo bird. That you're gay. No. There's probably a chance. <laughs> Finish that sentence, boy. There's probably, <laughs> there's probably a chance that we won't run into anything because of time restrictions. Yeah, unless probably. somebody's super fast. Super fast. Elon, where you at? Home. <laughs> In crackers. <laughs> And fish ceviche. Since we're expanding, the universe is always expanding. There's a chance that we won't see shit other than what's around us Ever. immediately. I, I really don't. I really hope that I'm not around when um when aliens kick off or in like fucking no, planetary I, I hope, systems fuck up. I hope when I'm not around when the fuck this planet because I know this planet's gonna go to shit. Dude. Oh, and like it's like gonna go you. so bad, bro. <laughs> when the, when the sun turns us into a fucking. A fucking pot, pot of <laughs> pot of fucking boiling water. You feel me? Like it's already doing that. Yeah. Just imagine, like, dude. Oh my god. Just you, imagine, like, twenty. David Attenborough said, bro. David Attenborough said we only have like five more years before the damage is irreversible, bro. Jesus, bro. So it's gonna be water world out here, bro. We're gonna build Noah's Ark. Feel me? Save the animals. Save the turtles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be here for major um, changes in like. Cata, cata, and catastrophic and events and shit like that. Like I'd rather be here for the economic stuff and maybe you know, hey now um, I don't know. You can walk into a KFC with no shirt on. You know, <laughs> simple stuff. Bro. Yeah, like big shit, bro. Yeah. Like fucking yeah, disasters, like, bro. Yeah, fuck that, fuck shit. that, bro. I can't wait until I can walk into a KFC with no shirt on, dude. I already, I've <laughs> tried doing that so many times, Mm-mm. bro. Here. But like after a hurricane, bro, because it's so like it's so like. Fuck, you know, like we, now we gotta clean this shit up. Like a hurricane's bad. Dude, yeah, imagine bro. like fucking tsunamis start coming, like 
Because yeah, rampant. This there's a difference between you know people being like, yo, I survived the great volcano of whoop de woo, and like, fuck somebody you, else saying away, like, yo, I went to Super Bowl Fifty Two. <laughs> 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 you feel me? There's one of those things that you want to remember <laughs> or you want to be a part of. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck, but fuck that. Yeah. I survived the Titanic. I'd rather be at the Super Bowl. <laughs> so nah. Fuck all that shit, dude. But yeah, yeah, do that for the survivors. I ain't got time to be out here like, oh, dude, we all got to be in bunkers now. We got to fucking fight to the death and shit like that. Like zombies. You, you know yeah, what? fuck that. You I let what? zombies take me. I'll let them take me. Fuck, Would fuck, you? fuck surviving a zombie apocalypse. Fuck all that. I think I'll I want to survive just a little nope. bit. I tell, I'll let them take me. I'll be the first one. I say, fuck it. Like, I feel like I wouldn't I wouldn't be the first people to die, but I don't think I'd be like the final survivors or whatever. I think I'd be like the middle. Dude, imagine losing your loved ones for your fault, bro. I'd be pretty mad. I go, I be, I go out like a hero, bro. I'd be like, "You guys go," you know, like those scenes in the movies, like I'll hold them off. Right, like, yeah, yeah, you're like, man. "I'll hold them off." <laughs> yeah. Open the door, get them, yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> they just fucking run over they just me, ramp you. <laughs> yeah, bro. Jesus Christ, didn't stand a chance. That'd be pretty fucking scary, though. Yeah, yeah, because you don't know how it's gonna go. You don't. That'd know how be long horrifying. You're sur- you don't know how long you're gonna survive. I shoot myself. But you know how with certain things seems so long because it's painful or, or like you don't want to do it bro yeah yeah fuck that shit but it's just hours it feels like hours and stuff like that. oh when is this gonna stop <laughs> then you're immortal you find out because the zombie apocalypse <laughs> will be there forever like you ever see night of the living dead i don't that think shit, so that shit's just scary bro fucking like i mean it's not even like scary like oh or whatever right it's scary to think of it because like literally they're just um buckering down in like a fucking like little house Two like upstairs, downstairs, or whatever, right? And then um, there's a bunch of zombies just start coming. And I mean, it's like a cheesy zombie uh, movie, but like, just imagine if that was you, bro. You're sitting there with random people, and then like, well, I mean, yeah, they start fighting because they're like, oh, well, I don't want to do this. So mm-hmm. You don't really got a choice, dude. It's like kind of survival. But yeah, dude, that'd be pretty fucking scary. Zombie apocalypse. Not looking forward to that. <laughs> If there is one, if, if there, there is, is one. one, nuclear fallout. That's one thing that I'm yeah, fucking fuck scared. That. Like that, ew. the day that happens, bro. Mm-mm. I'm I not about to be the character of a fucking fallout game. I don't want to be bombed. Yeah, being bombed seems pretty. Like being in the middle of war, bro. Yeah, yeah, being like war torn. I don't want to do that. Like you see the other countries, yeah, you're like, it makes me feel bad. You kind of just think of it. It's like oh, that never happened to me, but like it could happen to you. She starts flying, bro. You don't even mm-hmm. know what to do. At that point, you yeah. Ransacking your house and shit like yeah, that, bro. or burning it down. I don't like not knowing what to do. I like, I like kind of following just a general idea of what I have to do. But like being like waking up, you're like, okay, fuck, dude. I'm, I'm in rags. I don't got yeah. dick to do. My, my people are dead. Mm-hmm. Trying to survive and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah. You got fucking ghouls walking around. That just freaked me out. Yeah, nah. I let the, I let. I let the strongest soldiers handle that one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> Fuck but, it. You but know? your point is like, like you're saying. You're saying you just let them go, right? Yeah, I wouldn't even want to. I wouldn't even want to get come in contact with them, dude. Like I mean, like I'd walk around and like try to get my shit together. Oh no, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to get would. fucked up by them. So that's that's one of the main reasons why a I would try to survive because I don't want to like die due to them. I'd rather just want to die natural cause. I want I want to live a normal life. Even in zombie apocalypse world, it's probably been a. I'm trying to think of um, other because you know it's usually um, has anybody lived a normal life? But it's usually you know, for example, I guess people who are entitled or have inherited money or um, you know, for back in the days, white people um, <laughs> has it, like other than that, other than the people who who've got it made and stuff like that. And we're able to, you know, make it, you know, have a normal day like nothing happened. Has there been a normal lifespan for somebody without, you know, crazy shit happening? I don't think anyone's lived a normal life besides, you know, like rich kings or queens or whatever. But even then, it's kind of like far out. Imagine yeah. being a queen Maybe or a somebody king. in Connecticut. Right. Like, you know, like has the actual <laughs> the, the span of like, you know, that they talk about where it's like you you grow up, go to school, um, you know, hang out with friends or I guess. um you know, work, pay your bills, have a family, get a house, yeah, have a family, get, get a, a dog, house, <laughs> call it a day. There's always some random shit that happen. Anyone gets involved in like drugs or like fucking like. Yeah, yeah, that's usually people around them. But I'm saying like, has anybody completed 
an act like a life. I mean, probably. Like right. A normal life without, like I said, like I mentioned before, without having the inherit of money, being in a racial, racially, you know, good position. Hmm. You see, yeah, I, I don't know. Because there's always something. It's always right. something. Right. It's like I feel like uh, no matter what, you're either going to either go through a, what, a tornado um, uh, disease, uh, a cancer, uh, cancer, Al cancer. <laughs> oh, cancer. <laughs> I like cancer. For all the astrology people out there, a cancer, you might run into one. Uh, <laughs> and, and nobody wants that, am I right? <laughs> fucking hate cancer, bro. Both of them. You feel me? Like, I don't mean like, you know, cancer. I don't mean like little shit, like, oh, I had an accident, broke my arm, shit. I mm-hmm. meant like, like real shit. You feel me? Like, you live, like, you know, you lose your house. <laughs> you feel me? Type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Has anybody completed life? <laughs> completed the life. The way TV makes it seem. <laughs> <laughs> the way God intended. I don't know. Dude. Amish people, maybe. Yo, you think they got it figured out? Yeah. The only thing they got to worry about is nah, they built bro. their house right. Those Amish people, bro, they, they, because once they got that little vacation, bro, they go crazy and then they never want to go back. Or some of them do. You never watch that show? They they have they used to have a show on like MTV or something where they took like Amish teenagers and because they have this tradition in Amish town where they go to like the big city and they experience everything for like the first time. So a lot of them just go out and do hella drugs and, and party and shit. And they had a TV show about like following those teenagers that did that. And some of them were like, yo, I don't want to go back. Fuck that arm and shit, bro. I'm, I'm over here living with society, bro. <laughs> I got AC over here. Yeah, bro. I got AC and drugs, bro. Fuck yeah. Totally. You know what I mean? So, yeah, bro. Those Amish people, bro. They're not as they're not as uh, churn butter as they seem. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them they were really strict about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't even know how the Amish thing started. Maybe people who couldn't, uh, like... Adapt. They were pilgrims them. who didn't want to grow up. <laughs> yeah, it's just people uh, staying with tradition. You know what I mean? Everything's the work of the devil. Oh, and, it's like a religion thing. Uh, for some of them, mm-hmm. I think. I believe. A lot of things, like a lot of things that are still tradition are usually religion. It usually helps. Religion with. holds a lot, dude. A lot, of people, a lot of people are like strict about religion. Because a, like, a lot of people died for that shit, bro. True. A lot of people still dying for that shit. For sure, what they believe in. It's a moral code. You feel me? So it's like if it's it's all you know, bro. So it's like, bro, I've been living. It's usually like you know, old people are usually like, yo, I've been living on this land for fifty years and nothing's happened to me. All that bad shit's happening to you guys because you have to go through. Was you know goes back to what I've been saying, like who's lived a normal life. You feel me? So they use a lot of people like, especially that are tied to religion, usually don't get like, they don't see the. That shit can happen even if they if they believe it. Mm. So a lot of times they just blame all the bad shit that happens to you know because you don't follow the religion. They're like, you see, I've been here for whatever years and I'm still good. Mm. You feel me? So it's a lot of that too. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too big of a religion guy. Yeah, me neither, bro. I mean, even if like for. Like other, you can translate other things as religion, bro. You can translate See, school as religion, bro. Like, why like, go to school? He's like, Cause this is, you got to learn. He's like, well, why? Because <laughs> because you're threatening to put my mommy in jail if I don't. That's why. You see, that, you that's, a, that's a Same big thing. Same thing as Catholic dude. school, bro. You don't dress a certain way, they can kick you out. <laughs> yeah, if you don't dress a certain way, you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? It's just the law of the land. It's the, the law, law of the, the book, land. the law of the land, the law of the country, the law of the, you know, it's just how it goes. They're just laws that people believe. You know what I mean? And people disagree or agree. Why can't I walk into KFC without a shirt? <laughs> this is the same reason. Religion. <laughs> Religion. <laughs> nah. You start grabbing onto the fucking it's a perspective. Couch. It's a perspective thing. It's like, nah, this is the law. This is what it is. This is what, I don't want to see man nipples. Woman nipples. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that shit. Wow. Put your ankles Chicken. away, whore. <laughs> Before I stone you. Before I stone you. Before I crucify you. <laughs> That, oh man, dude! Oh, they were brutal back in the Super day. Super fucking brutal, bro. <laughs> they were they fucking didn't give a animals. fuck, dude. They were dead ass animals. And you know what's crazy, dude? That was only like a couple hundred years ago. Yeah, b. No, it was last year. <laughs> dead yeah. ass, bro. What was the last hanging? Like fucking. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get into that. Though. <laughs> like a fucking two days ago. <laughs> Probably happening right now. Yeah. All right, the medieval torture stuff. Yeah, like dude. like when they fucking used to like stretch them. 
You remember they oh had those big God, machines? Bro. Probably people still doing that shit right now. Yeah. Like, you know, for now people bro. get paid for that. People yeah. Get paid for <laughs> Before it was willingly. It'd be like, yeah, I'd volunteer for now that. Now you can see it on OnlyFans. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, so. yeah, dude. Oh, how times change. Huh? <laughs> Before, hey, this is torture. Ooh, now it's sexy torture. <laughs> I'm such a masochist. You know what I mean? Stig me, stig me. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it was only, it was only like what, six, like, hundred years, a couple hundred years ago. People were using muskets. You feel me? We advanced so much, so little time, and some people think we dumbed down. You would think. Some people, no, you think. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think so. I think we're smarter than ever. What do you think? Some people say we're dumber now. I could see that. At least nah, for the simple in life, you know what I mean? Like, man, come on, man, just enjoy life, man. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want to live in like castle I w- time. I, yeah, I wouldn't want to live any time in the past. Really, the past seems like weird. Nah, it just seems like not a good place. You know, it seems like it only is. It only, it can only get shittier. You know, it's like people. Oh, I want, I want to live in the eighties, it's fifties. Like, why? Would do you, you want to live that? with polio, my guy? Yeah, for real, like. <laughs> You were out here in iron fucking lungs. Yeah, dude. like why in the would summer you want to of fifty eight, bro. I think it's all it's all subjective. No, it's all it's all pros and cons. It's everything. Nostalgia, yeah. bro. People just want to fucking. It's because it's, it's it's not gonna nah. go good for for us. <laughs> back to the back to the thing. No one lives a normal life. There's yeah. always something. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. Unless you got money, mm-hmm. and you're in a good imagine, position. Imagine imagine being like, imagine having to live in a village, like a fucking pauper, dude, like. <laughs> Like you fucking imagine, bro. Like imagine having dirt roads. You know what I'm saying? And, like your house is made out of road, mud. Dude. Imagine <laughs> like, being a chimney sweep at the age of five. You feel me? You have lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of five, yeah. you gotta be a coal miner at twelve. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's you know like your hands are all calloused up and shit. You haven't been able to feel anything since you were fucking born. You haven't slept in days, bro. Oh, simpler time. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck all that. Why would I want to do that? Child labor. I have, a, I have a pretty I have a pretty good thing going here. Yeah, bro. Started working at 16. You see, at one point, that's going to be considered child labor. And then they're going to fucking move it to like 18. Still is child- in some states. <laughs> yeah. And then it's going to be like the fucking lifespan is going to be like 200. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live until 200 either, bro. I wouldn't want Fuck to. Fuck that. Either. People, oh, I want to live until fucking up. Yeah, I'm Fuck 120. No, when I go, I go, I bro. Guess, I guess for the old thing, it's because you see how brittle they are at a certain age. Yeah. Imagine if you, you still look like you at like 80, bro. I mean, yeah, that's cool. But I mean, I don't want to get to a point where I'm just like, I can't, like, I wouldn't be able to wipe my own ass, you know? Mm. Or just do live? something. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't want to, yeah, I wouldn't want to be like somebody having to take care of me. Yeah. You feel me? At I that mean, point, no. At, at a certain doing. point, for some people, they get what, like dementia? And you don't even have a say whether you want people to fucking let you live or not. That's true. You That's feel true. me? So you're just out there. And it, well, you're, at that point, you're not even conscious, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how dementia works. Yeah, that shit, that shit right there, dude. That's fucking scary, bro. Because, you know, my um, my grandma has dementia or Alzheimer's. One of those. I don't know if they're the same thing or different. I don't know. But, like, it's like hereditary or whatever, right? Uh-oh. And I'm just like, ooh. do some crossword puzzles. It's time to work. Time to do fucking brain age on my DS. Yeah, you know bro. I mean? <laughs> Get like, some Sudoku books for me. me uh, I don't want to wake up one day teleporting randomly. And I'm just like, okay, well, this is this is where I'm at right now. How did I get in the kitchen? <laughs> I was like, where, where am I? I was at Two the bank. Where is it? <laughs> I mean, my like, 13. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Like in um, BoJack Horseman, there's this episode because his mom has dementia. And then there's this episode which just focuses around the mom. And um, it kind of just goes from like, oh, she's in the car with Bojack, but she doesn't recognize his face. It's someone completely different from her past. And then it keeps cutting into her past and all this random shit. And then it was just like creepy, bro. And then it touches on the subject of lobotomy. Lobotomies are, dude, that's crazy. Or they go into your brain. They would just cut a piece of your brain out and you'd just be a husk of your former self. It's that easy, bro. Imagine. A little incision, and then you forget who you are. Head injuries are scary. Yep. Dude, head, head injuries can change who you are drastically. They could change what language you speak. <laughs> they could change who you tongues, are. bro. No, no you, start, you, you, you never heard of that? an actual language. You never heard that of that? Is, yeah, like fucking Chinese or Mandarin. Yeah, you never heard of that? Some people hit their head, and they speak a different language. Or they have, like, a fucking or an accent. Yeah, man. You yeah. Pull a Buzz Lightyear? Yeah. <laughs> some, some, some people become geniuses. Damn, dude. Imagine that. 
I feel like I'd just be way dumb. <laughs> like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be lucky enough to be like a yeah, fucking genius not. or whatever. I just legs would probably stop working. You know I mean? Or something. That's one thing. If my legs ever start working, then <laughs> they, they ever start working. If they ever stop working, I mean, you just get a wheelchair, bro. Nah, I don't know, dude. I I probably because I I don't know, man. It's like I need my lower half, man. I need it, man. Unless it's like uh, unless it's like Avatar, where you can just tail connect to some fucking big blue thing. That's de- it's depressing, bro. Having no not being able to walk and do yeah. your own shit, bro. That's way depressing. Relying on a fucking chair, dude. Would you ha- would you hate to reincarnate? Reincarnate if I knew. You see, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, would you would you want to know the destination? No, I like, kind of just want to reincarnate as anything. As anything, like a tree. I wouldn't mind being a tree. It's a pretty good gig. <laughs> pretty good gig. <laughs> you, know, you just gotta stay there. <laughs> He's chilling. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta sit there, take some sun in. <laughs> Hopefully, you get some water. Hopefully, you don't get cut down by a fucking chainsaw yeah. and turn. And even then, you're a stump. <laughs> Turn into a skateboard, <laughs> and even then I wouldn't mind either, dude. You got pretty, it's pretty rad. It's radical, dude. Yeah, You're just right. vibing, dude. Be a cool ass tree, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah. Fuck that shit. Nah, I want to be. Man. I want to be one of those redwoods that grow like hella high in like California or whatever. Mm. Imagine reincarnating into the past. Tough would you be fucked? <laughs> yeah. I feel like that how probably happened. How fucked over do you? Would you feel like y'all? It's like our oh, reincarnation is real. Right, cool, and then you're like. What year is it? It's 1805. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> if, if, I, if, if that did happen, bro, I hope I would reincarnate into whatever fucking group is in a position of power. You feel me? Mm. Whichever group had the had the leash, you know what I'm saying? I want to be reincarnated into that shit. You feel me? Whoever had it the best. What was popping in 1805? I don't know. The Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis were here. Nah, bro. The Nazis were 1940s, bro. <laughs> Nah, 1805 was, was that the American the American Revolution, or sometime around there. 1805 because we started we started 1775. 1776. So yeah, 1776. That's it. <laughs> May 26, Napoleon is crowned king of Italy. 1805. Yeah, in 1805. 1805 comes. It, it sounded like a random number in my head, but when I say it over and over, it sounds like a, an actual historical. May one, 31 yeah. through June tw- June second. Civil War. Uh, Napoleon Napoleonic <laughs> Wars. Battle of Diamond, a Franco-Spanish fleet captures a strategic island of Diamond Rock off. Um, I got my rocks off. The first <laughs> Barbary War ends between trop- Tripoli and Irma. the United States of America. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to say. The Louisiana Territory is created. Thomas, Thomas Jefferson is Thomas sworn Jefferson. in. He's still there, bro. 1805. Right oh, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. <laughs> Jeffrey. He's United the United second And George right? Clinton. No, that was George Bush. <laughs> 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 Damn, 1805 wasn't that long ago. <laughs> you think about it? You know, Tem- Thomas Jefferson was still around. How old, how old was Thomas Jefferson in 1805? <laughs> 16. <laughs> 16? Dude, your grandma's grandma saw Abraham Lincoln walking around, bro. Dude, bro. I mean, probably not. She was probably an endurance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tom- saying by the time, like, she could have. Thomas I'm Jefferson probably died. Probably died probably in 18, yeah, probably 26, a different country, bro. bro. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's Thomas Jefferson was Just president. Perspective, bro. <laughs> Just trying to put stuff in perspective. I know. Bro. Motherfucker. Oh, fuck. You still talking over there? This nigga over here looking up fucking um, I'm like, I'm like looking America, at fucking bro. history. He's America. over here on Aaron Burr. <laughs> the guy who got shot. Yo. I thought... Aaron Burr shot someone. Yo, Dan. No, he did a duel or something. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he did shoot somebody probably. I thought he shot fucking, what's his name? Tom Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> he shot Tupac. He did Tupac. Hey, if by the next podcast you can learn the name of every American president, I'll give you $20. You give me $20? Yes. Yeah, I can learn every American Every, f- all 49 of them. Would you give it to me right now? I think we're on 51, buddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're on like 46. Um, I don't have... It would have to wait until Friday. Until <laughs> <laughs> they get paid. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams. I don't know the fourth one. Yeah, I, you <laughs> lose. <laughs> Is it John Quincy Adams? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to name as many as I Did know. Did he do two terms? Two terms? <laughs> nah, bro. I'm going to try to go as many as I can. You got George Washington. John Adams is next, right? 
I don't know, bro. He's a gay guy, I think. Keep it real, y'all can just tell me random names and I'll probably believe you, bro. Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Depending on how confident you are. I only, I only know certain ones. The fourth guy is um That is the fourth guy, just like yeah. Thomas Jefferson was never the president. He was. Who, who am I thinking of? Teddy Roosevelt. Wait, who am I thinking of then? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin was never president. <laughs> he was never president. There He's on go. the hundred dollar bill, dude. There you go, guys. I'll give you a history lesson. Just my guy. Because yeah. you made bifocals. <laughs> <laughs> bifocals. That's why he's on the hundred dollar bill, man. <laughs> the two zeros, man. Two zeros, uh, baby. Two eyes. <laughs> Bifocals. Bifocals, baby. I can see that. And you flew a kite in a thunderstorm <laughs> with a key somewhere. That's some baller shit, dude. Imagine. He stored dead people in his basement. Yo, and he had hella syphilis, bro. <laughs> they don't want, they're not ready for that conversation. Yeah. No, I think they did, bro. That's how we know. The syphilis yeah. conversation? Yeah. Yikes. Imagine having syphilis. I think he cheated on his wife or something. Get some penicillin in your eye. I don't have to imagine that. <laughs> All syphilis. <laughs> All the time. I'm 80% syphilis, baby. I'm growing. I'm growing. Man, imagine? Just one thing of syphilis. Nah, man. Dude, fucking all my history teachers have been into <laughs> I've history. I've had syphilis. Bro. Have been into history, bro. I'm I don't think I've it. ever met a history teacher that wasn't into it. Because you have to love that shit to get into it. You can't just get into that by mistake. Yeah, you can just be like, yeah, I'm going to be a teacher. I'm yeah. just here for the paycheck. Yeah. So, I feel like that's gym teachers. What? They just go, oh my god, you go for it. Yeah, yeah. They're like, I want to be a personal trainer. I feel like I'd be um I'd be a history teacher and just and you look like you'd be an art teacher, bro. Art teacher? <laughs> Talking random shit, bro. <laughs> look like the music teacher or something. <laughs> just making a random shit, bro, as I go. You look like one of the counselors or something. One of the youth counselors or something. <laughs> at the YMCA. Yeah, at the YMCA. <laughs> hey, <why> kids. <laughs> Your uncle touches you where? <laughs> why are you feeling this way, buddy? Challenge, bro. That's, that's I, a, I like history, bro. That was one of the subjects I always did good in. I never did bad in history except um, civics. Seventh grade, I did horrible in civics because it's like that's when you have to learn everything Hondas? about. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just learn everything about Honda. Civics. What yeah, is civics? Civics is basically learning about all the laws and shit. I was like, nah. Oh, civics. It's consider- like civ, like like a civic. Like Honda Civic, bro. <laughs> no, well, yeah, Civic basically. Center. What do you want about? Like civilization. Then Tra- call it civils. <laughs> civils. I don't know, dude. Fuck, it. fuck history. No. No. History is a very important thing to learn. That way you know who to hate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, I think it's bullshit because I know my mom was talking to me the other day about history and how she learned history or whatever. She learned history about her, th- her like El Salvador or whatever, Does and you, everywhere else. So she knows random shit about like fucking Egypt, right? But over here, we only learn about fucking. No, we know world history. Barely, they we dabble on it for like. It's probably because at that point you probably had online classes you didn't fucking attend. Nah, dude, fucking (laughs) nah. I had world history, and I I mean I learned about a couple things. Dude, I learned about the Byzantine Empire and stuff like that. The the Olmecs, the the Ottomans. Learned Ottoman. You said the Puntas, the (laughs) Incas, yeah, the Incas, stuff like that. If I want I mean, to be in one time period, <laughs> I don't want to be in the Aztec period. I want to see what the what crazy shit they had going on. There. You can you imagine something so simple as them just hanging out in some tents, and fucking <laughs> yeah. just looking outside like, yo, it'd be crazy, right? <laughs> yo, imagine if the sun was a person. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, bro. You know what I mean? They're just like, yeah, let's put some numbers to it, draw a circle. It'd be hilarious. I heard that one of them, one of those tribes, right? <clears throat> like the way they built their fucking like. Stages and shit Like The way they had it constructed Like if they could just Stand in the middle Of this platform And everybody in that shit Would be able to hear them Without having Like just like, uh, I, I know what you mean he, Yeah, yeah. I mean, built, I'm probably explaining it Hella stupid But They built uh, an, an, an an auditorium yeah. Enough To not have speakers Yeah That's They were They were they pretty a lot advanced. of reverb stuff They were advanced For their time That's what I'm saying <laughs> It's a lot of home remedy stuff. You ask me. <laughs> home remedy stuff. Yeah. Take this out a little. They drink a lot of Bitch. fucking 7-Up. and 7-Up. <laughs> <seven up. laughs> <laughs> a lot of 7-Up and fucking, fucking big vapor woo. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, who has a joke? Andrew Schultz. 
He's like, he's like, man, e- Egyptians, man, all they break about was goddamn pyramids, man. It's been years, man. Build some new shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, that's your greatest accomplishment, y'all. Trash. <laughs> Put some new yeah. shit up. Me? I've been on this. <laughs> Damn. Y'all ever seen the movie Apocalypto? No. I've never seen it. I've heard about it. My parents love it. Pretty good. Pretty good. I, well, I don't know if it's good. I don't know if movies are good, but I liked it. Huh. It's about. It's about. Some 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 tribe. Some yeah, some, some tribe. Empire thing, right? Yeah, some pre Spanish people, bro. Some pre Latinx, you know. <laughs> Latinx, yeah. baby. No Sabo kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Yeah, if you ever got some if you ever got like a spare four hours, I think that's yeah, how long. Yeah, you have a main be. story arc in there or anything? Oh well, um it, it basically follows this tribe and um then they get invaded and i think they get stolen to be sold as like slaves or something also history yeah something like that you think other like um for example back to the alien topics you think other aliens would come down here and it's like yo you all had slavery what the fuck dude <laughs> or do you up. or do you think they had slavery as they well? had it they probably had it they you probably so? that's called employees <laughs> <laughs> they're probably gonna slave us there's no way you didn't have somebody like hey listen man I'll pay you. That's just slavery, and then you, and then tricking them to do it for free is also, you know what I mean? There's, there's, yeah, they, they've had to, they've had that era, <laughs> and they still probably do. When I mean, you think about it now, you're like, oh, they had it, and then, and then they're like, no, we never had that, dude. We just <laughs> did, we did our own shit. It's like, that's kind of fucked up, you know. You guys are weird over there. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird over there. Nah, but there's no way. It's impossible. I feel. They're just shaking. In an advanced civilization, it's impossible to not have. To go through that. Somebody had to build that shit. You feel me? I mean? Somebody didn't get paid. Somebody was cheated out of doing something. You know what I'm saying? They, they has to. There's no unless they're I don't know an agreement. They're fucking singing songs together. But even then, somebody's getting tricked. Gospel, somebody's got tricked. <laughs> so you think someone got tricked? Yeah. What's the wildest shit you could think of? <laughs> what's good what you mean <laughs> you sat there like <laughs> like what are you talking about like what's the weirdest shit you can think of like like in terms of what like fucking and uh, any wh- syrup flavored chips or like anything, getting fucked by a peacock like, anything, <laughs> anything anything bro like, what are you, what in, in terms of chips <laughs> wildest shit bro wildest shit that comes into your mind bro see Ooh, the, the, see when you get asked that question bro people who are into torture porn there you one. go what about you? Spooky, huh? Spooky? Yeah. What are you thinking of? Think of some fucked up shit and then yell it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. There's countries that still fucking take people um, who are like out of the country. Like if you're uh, certain countries where if you go out as an American, they fucking take your passport, make it disappear, act like you went missing, and they're fucking, I don't know, they sell you off to get, be murdered by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. You ever heard of those fucking, those like, those deep web, like the Red Room shits? Yeah. Those freak me out, bro. I, I remember I heard this one story. There was like, um, it was this red room shit, and they had like this pig head over a guy's like head, and I hate that. I don't like that. That freaks me out. Like, yeah, I don't. Like a lot it. of that shit it's is fake. sexual. Okay. <laughs> People get off on that. Yeah. And sexual to, desires. Yeah, and then I don't know. That's all leads to like fucking childhood trauma or whatever. Yeah. My mom used to put on the pig mask. Now I put pig mask on other people. <laughs> and like they wanted to fuck their mom or whatever. Random I wanted to shit, fuck dude. my mom the whole time. <laughs> Don't you? Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her walking over there. Nah, be that, that shit. shit. That's all. It's all weird shit, bro. The fucking. It's not even that the. You have to find that shit like deep web because it's all like Tor browser and you gotta like click yeah. on like. Random shit. You know what scares me about the deep web is that I feel like if I even look up shit like like stories about it, I feel like they're gonna get me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna get yeah, me. I, mean, I feel like, that. Yeah. Bro. I, don't know I feel that. Bro. I watch people react to that shit. But some people would just be some normal shit. Yeah, It'd be normal. Like, ah, it's not that bad. Like, there's people who freak on that shit daily. Like, ah, it's not yeah. that bad. But there's people out there. Just, they're just there's like, this. Yeah. There's this one guy. He explores the deep web. Um, some ordinary gamer. That's his name. His YouTube name. He just explores it and then like. A lot of pedophiles on there, a lot of guns, drugs, and shit like that. Normal shit that you'd be like, okay, I understand. But then every once in a while, you see that one weird thing that kind of just like, what's the point of this? 
Some people are just on there just to be like, uh, you know, they're going to be on the dark web looking for some weird shit, so I'm going to make some weird shit. Mm. And that way they're, you know, continue the legacy of the dark web. What's, yeah, I mean. what's A lot of trolls, I think, are on there. Yeah. What's interesting to me is the ones that are real, though. Yeah, the ones that are real. Because it has to be the ones, here, right? here, Here's the thing about the real ones. Because, you know, you can, I mean, uh, everywhere. There's weird shit everywhere. For the weird ones, the the what's going through the head of the person going, you know, doing the shit and then being like, hey, guys. If you guys want to see this, come over here. You know what I mean? Like, how do you find the courage to find a community, to build a community with some shit like that, especially on the internet? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I guess, I guess it's like the people who are looking for that shit will find each other eventually type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like that, how does that, how does, how does that process work? Asking for a friend. No problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Because it's like, because for example, if it's like, I don't know, on Google, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, you know, I don't know. I'm into Smash. So what's the best Smash player in the world? Who's the best character with tier lists and stuff like that? You can't just be like, yo, I'm looking for it <laughs> yeah. on the internet. You yeah. feel me? Even the dark web is kind of tricky because it's, you know, the FBI and stuff like that. So it's like, because they're usually like, oh, you know, the FBI, the FBI is usually like, oh, there's codes for this and stuff like that. There's a code words and stuff like that. Like, how do we find out the code words? You feel me? Because I know, like, I guess, you know, if you meet in person, you know what I mean? You're like, hey. But even then, how do you bring that up in conversation? You feel me? Like, I've always had the joke with, um, about, you know, the cannibal um, couple, right? And then, you know, what do you do? How do you bring that up to your couple or like, yeah, about being a cannibal because you know there's some couples out there who eat people together and stuff like that how do you bring that up in the relationship you know what I mean it's already hard to you know you be like hey can I pee on you you know what I mean let alone eating somebody and I always you know say the joke it's just like they look at hey what do you want to eat tonight and they both I, I, at the same time ready the neighbor and then it's like how do you do it <laughs> how does that work do you just like then again we've had this conversation before <laughs> on, a, on a different podcast episode about how to Bring up <laughs> being a cannibal yeah. to your cow. asking for your, asking for a yeah, bro. for to your significant other. <laughs> this is the guy right here. So a lot of it has to do with love, I guess. You just run into them and they're like, I can never, somebody. I can never imagine loving loving somebody so hard. I would want to eat somebody, bro. Weird people find weird people. Nah, I can't imagine that shit. There's always someone out or there. Or you convince them fucking... long enough, I guess. But it's what it is. It's like yo, like you follow my ideologies and stuff like that. Like yo, this is. This is the right way to go. And then, you know, that person's usually lost, I guess. And they're like, you know what? He's right. You know, he loves me and stuff like that. And this is something we can do together. Right? Now you're over there making, I don't know, fucking etchings and people's skin and stuff like that. Nice. And <laughs> making pillows out of skin. You know, there's, um, I've seen some weird shit on the internet. <laughs> I've seen some weird <laughs> shit. Usually, like, at, like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll late here night until fucking four forty five. <laughs> <laughs> late night on, on like a Skype call with my friend. We've seen some weird stuff. Um, like uh, it's Stop Skype calling weird people. It's usually it's yeah. usually it's usually gore related stuff, right? And basically, we had contests. It's like who can like um watch it the long or I don't who know, can nut the fastest. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> cut themselves without barfing. Like, what are you on about here? Fuck it. We, how, we, we, how do you have gore contests on a Skype call? Just nah, the other person. We've, we've seen some weird shit. Like one time, like a one time at band camp. <laughs> there's um there there's this one website. I don't know what the fuck it was called. It was like over best there? gore or whatever, right? <laughs> they spooked over there. <laughs> but like fucking um, there was a uh, we've seen like it's usually revolves around like death and stuff. But one thing that freaked me out, a smoke score does. Yeah. But one thing that freaked me out, like, forever, dude, is fucking, I saw this little kid get skinned alive one time, dude. Ooh. And that shit was fucking scary. Like, it just, like, made me sick, dude. I saw it, and my me and my friend, we both had the same reaction. We're like, all right, that's, that's enough. We're not doing this no more. And the, ever since Maybe that day, let's dude, find a different game to play. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we, like, we. Nah, oh, man. How so about checkers? <laughs> Just. <laughs> Dude, why don't we play video games like normal people? <laughs> no, we'd play video games. We play like Minecraft, and then afterwards, like. <laughs> Dude, you want to watch it? Somebody gets skinned alive after a after game of that, Minecraft. After that, we were just like, no, nah, dude, just... let's play Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> we just see some weird ass shit, bro. Mom, take me home. <laughs> after that, bro, we kind of just stopped playing that game, and we're just like, never again. Now man. that I think about it, I don't see that guy anymore. <laughs> uh, you know. 
come across the dark web, dude. Gonna, he's chilling there. I'm not gonna say things are a gateway, bro. But I'll tell you what, man. If you, what are the chances? What are the chances? This, this, it's a high probability and chance that the friend that said, "Hey, wouldn't it be funny to watch this together?" I was trying to see if you're with it <laughs> so you could be part of his team and he could build a community. Now, I think about it. Maybe that's the way it goes. You think? think about it. As innocent as it might seem, you know, like you and your friend, you know, hey, let's challenge each other to see who it gets gore. You know what I mean? There's a probability if there's five of you, one of you is like, ah, bro. Is, They're I, into it. Yeah. Just, just to put that out there. And then if Wait two of them, two... You, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Like if you if you put it in perspective, bro. Get to a 445. If, if you do that, if you do that to enough people, one of them is like, yo. There's one person that bounds to be into that, right? Into some freaky deaky shit. Do the thing. Bassy. Nah, dude. I, I was always I was always freaked out about that shit, dude. It was just good weird shit, bro. <laughs> that's a, that's a normal response. It's good to always be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> My mom always told me that. Be afraid. <laughs> You imagine Never your friend being the, afraid. You imagine your friend is in the corner, like I love it when they run. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Dan, yeah. <laughs> be afraid. <laughs> no, Put on those dude. jogging shorts. <laughs> yeah, fucking. You're, all, you're the only person. In me come to think of it, reality. he always wanted me to come to his house. Uh, wait, what? what? Why don't you go to the house? <laughs> dude, the online stuff is pretty scary too. The you know, there's there was a couple stories out there where like some I don't know he met some girl or some guy met somebody on xbox live and stuff like that and they're like oh you know let's hang out and then he got killed tortured and raped yeah there's a lot of shit like that a lot of it's like yo man like what would you expect but it's like come on damn bro it's like it's nothing sacred (laughs) it's nothing sacred (laughs) sacred? (laughs) i don't know man it's just like bro like a lot of shit can happen and and like in in the most Innocence of places, yeah. You know I mean, you—I don't know—you're in a Target yeah, parking lot one day, and then you get snatched for some reason. Yeah, man. There's some fucking psychos out there trying to put his dick in your ass. Yeah, bro. That's that's some shit that I that like for no reason. By the way, I, you weren't a Target. You yeah. just you, you were just there. You wrong place, right? Wrong time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's one thing. Like that's fucked up that I think about. That that's like that women have to worry about. I guess. Yeah. Is like. You just be at Target, you know what I'm saying? Something that, like, for us, you feel me, is, like... You walk in there. Yeah, man. you're don't. you not worried about I, shit. I, I don't like going to Target at night. Specifically Target. No, I don't yeah, like going places at night, to I, be I don't honest. like going places with parking garages. Yeah, that... Um, okay. I'm by myself. One time I went to a parking garage to skate by myself. It was, like, what, like, eight? And it was, like, just me. Mm. And I'm, I'm skating, and then I take off one of my headphones, and I just start hearing fucking shit, and I'm just like, okay. This is enough yeah, for me. Bro, but. Yeah, but yeah, so I, I, I just, every time I think of some shit like that, I'm like, it's probably even worse for women. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, sure. imagine, like, so, maybe not Target, but whatever, you, wherever you're at, you go to the store, McDonald's. you feel me? Specifically Target. And then, like, you go back to your fucking car, you feel me? Some just, just like, you see a fucking rope tied around your fucking, and you're like, what the fuck? And then you get snatched. Imagine some little dumb shit like that, you feel me? You're just checking, like, what the fuck? And then, all of a sudden, your life changes forever. You feel me? You're never going to be the same person again because who knows what the fuck they're going to do to you. You feel me? And that shit's obviously going to have an effect. I always wonder about that. They fucking yeah, either kill you. That or... antenna's going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I fucking taped it. And shit. It, was gonna, <laughs> it, was, it was bound to fall sometime. <laughs> I just taped it. <laughs> it nah, but, but yeah, bro, that shit, that shit sucks, bro. What a world we live in, right? If only. But if- you ever seen the fucking ring doorbell videos? Yeah, I've seen dude, a couple. He like, like um, there was this one. It was like a, there's a girl who got kidnapped. It was a video of a girl who getting kidnapped and stuffed into like some sort of fucking car or whatever, and just driving off. And you just hear the sc- the blood curdling scream of her just trying to fucking get out. And you can hear it. It's very faint in the car. You just hear it very faint, but you're just banging on the fucking window and just like drive off. And it's like, yikes. Dude, home invasions, bro? Fuck that shit, bro. Like, you're just I've chilling seen, at I've your seen, house, I've bro. seen videos of home invasions, bro. Or, or people getting, like, you know, like, um, tricked and stuff like that. Like, a girl, like, knk on the door and stuff like that. And they open the door. What's up? And then, oh, man. And then, like, like five guys are just yeah, running those, those and shit like that. Yeah, those setup ones, those are the worst. Because it could happen to you. Yeah, you don't think it would, but, yeah. You open the, you open the door to a Jehovah Witness one day. <laughs> yeah. So I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. 
Um, but fucking. So I'm pro gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pro gun. Fucking nah, um, bro. Cause you never know, bro. Yeah, for real. And and like shit like that, bro. Especially like, I don't know. If, she can go down. It, it feels that, like bro. you need one here. You know what I'm saying? Or just like any. It feels like you need one. Cause you I mean, never know. Yeah, you never know. It, it's like, yeah, people are not hunting you down and stuff like that, or whatever. I, but I guess at the end of the day, if I it's guess not and, them, and it's, it's you. Us, it's that's why it's usually good to keep things to yourself, not be out here, you know. I guess flexing, showing what you have, you know, telling people what you're done, you're doing, and stuff like that. Keep your patterns different and stuff like that. There's and, always fucking envy and jealousy yeah. running around. Yeah, make yourself not an easy target. But sometimes, bro, it just happened by chance, bro. Crackhead just runs in your fucking thing, bro. And, make a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You're like, yeah, all right, bro, you leave yeah. now. It's like, no, nah, I'm kicking you. Or, yeah, it's just, you know. <laughs> Tying you to a chair and just like fucking like hauling your ass yeah, up. So it's just some weird shit, bro. It's like, bro, I don't know. So at least something to at least defend yourself with at the end of the day because you never know. That's why I You got to be swords. ready, bro. <laughs> you got to be ready, bro. somebody up, dude. Damn. Because fuck that shit, bro. There's a lot of crazy shit out yeah, here, bro. Yeah, bro. Especially, especially like we're not that old. You feel me? None of us is that old. You feel me? But we've all seen our fair share of like pretty crazy shit. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like I've like like shit that people our age probably shouldn't have been like exposed to. And we've all seen it like at early ages, you know what I'm saying? And and all the shit that like combined like all of us, like we could have all just been dead, you know what I'm saying? Through the, through the shit we've experienced, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. So even off accidents, bro. Yeah. Like some people they they'll just like, "Yo, I'm just here to fucking Rob your TV or some shit, then they end up shooting you for no reason because you know they're scared and they've never done it before. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So even with that, alone, and then when fucking you're doing something, someone comes out, oh shit, fucking yeah. shoot them. And you're like, oh well. yeah. So there's this, this is a lot of stuff, bro. But yeah, bro, I don't want to get snatched up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being yeah. snatched up, be especially when you're like d- discombobulated. You don't know what the fuck you at, bro. You're just like disoriented and stuff like that. Well, we we have a. A lesser chance of doing that. Girls but have a higher chance. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about that, though, right? Is girls have a higher chance of being kidnapped, right? For for like, and the 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 reason is usually is because they're gonna fucking you feel me abuse them. Uh-huh. You feel me? Yeah. Or they and they look weaker. Yeah, but they're not paying attention. Uh, There's a lot of stuff yeah. for mm-hmm. for for kidnapping a guy though. Like, what reason could you have for that? Because people probably aren't going to kidnap you to try and rape you. You know what I'm saying? There's something else. So it's probably, it's like, what's, what other reason would they have? It's probably some fucked up shit. Yeah, you know we're going to have a rougher time, dude. Yeah. Like, if, if, for if, sure, not saying, bro. Not saying, not saying that. Yeah. That, I, you feel me, you feel me. Because let's say, it's let's not say, let's say, let's say, terrible in both situations. Guy, a guy pulls up to Will, right? Will's just walking, shimmying down the block, right? Fucking yelling out the fuck people are yelling at like, Hey yo Will It's like yo whatever right because <laughs> yeah, that happens you know yeah, you feel me you look in the nineteen fifties yeah, whatever like, right hey. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, if I had to choose <laughs> I think I'd rather be kidnapped by the guy who kidnaps kids than the guy who kidnaps fucking big strong man. <laughs> big strong man. <laughs> because trying to trying to kidnap Will dude, it's hard imagine, like cause like even stuffing him in a van is fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> because because at that point you're just like you're not going to let yourself get kidnapped. You're going to fucking put up a fight, right? Exactly. You're going to, like, thrash or, like, fucking, like, try to fight the guy because... Trying to live. Get... Yeah, you feel me? And then, like, what goes into that is, like, the, the guy is playing himself. You feel me? He's, he either stabs you with, like, a little, like, needle. You fucking go, like, down. And you're like, okay, take you over. I mean, you're tripping off your ass. He's just like, all right, let's go. Yeah, it's a fucked up world we live in, man, where people got to worry about this type of shit. Yeah. Dude, I would hate to get hunted, bro. Get hunted, like the, like the, dude. What, what was that one game? The, the most, most dangerous, dangerous game. Most dangerous game, dude. Getting hunted, bro. That's yeah. that scary, was, bro. That's what the island is about, dude. That's what the island is about. Yeah. The island? I would hate to get hunted, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. That'd be I'll, pretty scary. By you guys, is it's funny, but, <laughs> but <laughs> no, but I feel like like uh, yeah. like for example, there's people who out there, the most dangerous game. They just kidnap people and they're like, all right, go ahead, I'm gonna hunt you down, bro. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> I got to not survive out here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to run out here. Fuck yeah. that shit, bro. Fucking dude, I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> I can't run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. If I'm ever in a situation like that, bro, where somebody's coming after me or like something, like if something I'm always going to be looking over my shoulder about, 
fuck it, bro. Just let it take me. You know what I'm saying? Like living a life for the rest of like for the rest of my life, just Looking worried, shoulder. worried about shit. That doesn't seem like a life I want to live. You but know what I mean? Sometimes hiding in plain sight works, but I, I couldn't imagine the life after getting caught. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. For example, if like somebody kidnapped you and you just stored in their basement, bro, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. imagine trying to escape. You want to escape at that point because they're keeping you alive. You know what I mean? You, you want to survive or try to kill yourself. One of the two, man. I guess at that point, just walk around with a cyanide pill, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Any moment, someone, yeah. someone, someone taps you on the shoulder. You like you bite, you bite down, <laughs> you bite down. You're like, mm. you're foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Somebody just somebody just spooks you or something. You're like, you're just like a normal day at work. You're just like, <laughs> you're like I wonder, I wonder if if if, if <laughs> dude, imagine, bro. I, I wonder if like bro. say, I don't know, somebody's in your car, drive, and you just go, you just you just sit there, you're like, and you just make yourself throw up, bro. Would they still, you know, like, <laughs> like you're throw your, oh, what, gross, what, if that, what if that guy's like, dude? Oh, I gotta smell that, bro. <laughs> no, you throw up on them. We, we don't think about it like that, bro. But I feel like there's a couple things that they they either just kill you straight up, like oh, you fucking fuck, <laughs> but or they'll just be like, or if you shit yourself, <laughs> like it yeah, sounds yeah, yeah. silly, but like throw them off their game. Yeah, but because because at the end of the day, like, you know, they live a normal life at some point. You know, they're not always like yeah. You feel me? <laughs> the, you feel me? So like, for example, like you, you, you probably like I always say this. You probably run into a cannibal at the deli section. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's over there picking up fruit or some shit. You feel me? So it's like, bro, they, like at some point they they have their their um the you know, their sense. moments over just like, oh my god, mm-hmm. <laughs> you ruined my plan type shit. You know what I mean? What if you shit yourself or something? So you ruined the meat. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> now I gotta eat around this. <laughs> Um, it's not you always fuck. a cat- it's not always a cannibal situation. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just like you know, what I mean? most people are cannibals. <laughs> what if you get if they rob you, you, just throw up, dude? And they're like, yeah, dude, calm down, God, bro. Jesus relax, Christ, man, not that serious, really bro. Walk, bro not your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, bro. I mean, I'll take it. Thanks, but like, at least I'm put it in a bag to, next time. I'm just trying to think of something that you could do. That until like, 3.30. That, that would, de- that would <laughs> deter anybody. Down. <laughs> Your time's more valuable. <laughs> the, funnier, the funnier they get, the more they charge, bro. <laughs> nah, but... I was... One they of the things... Po- they only pay me for an hour here. <laughs> over there, too. <laughs> one of the things I told Will the other day was, I don't get the ones where, you know, you're at the grocery store. Or, like, you know, and somewhere in public, and somebody comes behind you with a gun, like, hey, say anything, and I'll blow you away. <laughs> right? I have a gun to your back. Just keep on walking. Bro, we we in public right now. Yeah, you real. feel me, bro? This guy has a gun in my back. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Shoot me? Go ahead. Everybody yeah. saw you do it. There's security yeah, cameras everywhere. You could. I mean, what, what's the worst? What thing are you gonna happen? do? Shoot me? Yeah. Uh, other than shooting you, yeah. I mean, other than yeah. you, you could live. You know what I mean? Uh, the worst that can happen is then you dying. But the guy's getting <laughs> caught. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. feel me? So you just fucked up his day. Yeah. And he's in a supermarket. One way or another, he doesn't win. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Because the only I, way he'll, I, win he'll is shoot. Follow yeah. him. <laughs> and I'm laughing from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't get, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I have a gun in my pocket. I don't say anything. I'll blow you away. Do it, I'll motherfucker. Blow, I'll blow you away. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they say? <laughs> I'll blow you away. I'll knock your socks off. <laughs> You know, Whoa, my look at your face. <laughs> I'll rip the rug from out under you. <laughs> Tumbles down. Yeah, Sweep you a, off your feet. <laughs> yeah, we got a cool present for your birthday. I feel like that. <laughs> nice surprise. <laughs> now, nah, but yeah, man, there's a lot of times where you're just like, man, fuck you. Fuck you. What are you going to do? You think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. Dude, I hate to get robbed like, and, and like when everybody else is getting robbed. Oh, like a group robbing? Yeah, and it's like, all right, guys, take all your water, man. Fuck, man, I'm poor. Well, you can't just take his shit, bro. Fuck. Bro, can I... you skip me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Let I... me do my homework real quick. I'll probably bro. get shot, man, because I, I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm poor, man. Come on, bro. Can I join you? You got an extra gun on you, bro? <laughs> you wasted your time. <laughs> you wasted your time. You give me your wallet, dude. <laughs> if I witness the murder, bro, I'm like, fuck, man. Fuck, dude. They're, they're going to there's... look at you. They're going to be like, bro, hey. I'm gonna be like, listen, bro, I ain't saying shit. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't got time for this. But then people, people say that, right? And then they're like, you know, 
obviously the murderer can't trust you. It's no, because like, cause a lot of the times, it's uh, usually, I guess, in, in movies, the guy's always scared. Like, oh, I won't say anything, man. Please, man. I swear, I swear. I'll probably just be like, well, listen, man, I don't give a shit. All right. I don't know that guy. Never knew him. Never met him. I, I don't give a shit. I'll be on my way. I ain't see a thing. <laughs> Fucking. You guys don't owe me no you money. You just keep walking. You're, yeah. like, you're like, nice. Keep walking. Yeah, yeah th- th- some like that happened at my job yesterday. Someone died. Nah, somebody didn't die. But I'm fucking like I'm just doing my regular shit, right? I'm trying to. And like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, like my managers are like like three managers are having like a conversation in like the bar, but that's like a whole nother room. So I have to go through that room to get something, right? And then as soon as I walk through the door, all I hear is he sent a dick pic to our HR person. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm just like. You needed evidence. I was like, I was like, damn, bro, you guys are not good at having secret conversations. <laughs> you feel me? But I did what I was supposed to do. You know, I just kept walking, act like I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, you, you feel it, me? It's, sometimes it's good not to give away your position because yeah. you know some people do that when they witness a murder. Yeah, <laughs> and they're just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, hmm, maybe if I keep quiet, I could find out who who sent their dick to the HR person. Did I send I, it? Did I? <laughs> hmm, who knows? <laughs> find out on the next episode. Four so I lost podcast. my job. <laughs> <laughs> it was my dick. I forgot I sent it. Surprise. <laughs> Five guys burger. Here I go. <laughs> I figure I cut the middle man and send it straight to HR. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, bro. I was just like HR sent it to the entire like Everyone, hey man, like, look at this deformed. Somebody, dude. somebody gotta like it. <laughs> Why is it curly? <laughs> Why is it chopped in half? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was a picture of my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it burnt on the end? <laughs> Absolute dog's dinner. Nah, but yeah, bro. But yeah, man. So if you guys witness some murders out there, man, Stay keep, quiet. Quiet. <laughs> keep quiet, man. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> nah, I mean, man. it wasn't you at the end of the day. Yeah, you put yourself in danger. You saying something? Yeah, just you walk. Could, you can say we something. Sound, we, we make we, sure the coast is clear. We sound like three guys trying to convince somebody not to not to talk about a murder. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Victor's watching this. We're just like, hey, Vic, don't say nothing. And you'll be fine. Why do you think Wesley isn't here? Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, Dan, bro, come on. Don't talk about the murders. <laughs> <laughs> the murders. <Come> Maron. <laughs> Don't talk about the murders. <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dude, fucking. <laughs> I don't want this to happen, but I would hate for this to happen. If somebody got kidnapped in front of you, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because he got to do something about it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you can't just be like, oh, fuck. You know? <laughs> like, like on the other I cheek, you feel me? You got to, you got to. <laughs> Dude, fuck it. Then you feel the guilty inc- for the rest of your, the the rest of your shit, bro. bro. Imagine the inconvenience, bro. You're eating something, bro. Like you got a fucking hot dog, the chili cheese that you walked out of a 7-Eleven, you feel me? You got like, the new glizzy, bro. <laughs> like you walk out of a 7-Eleven with a hot dog, your, your life's already in the shitter, you feel me? <laughs> But then you see somebody get kidnapped. You're not, you know, you're not Jason Statham or nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> you're not Jason Statham. You can't fucking do shit. Yeah, for John Wick over here. <laughs> what am I going to do? Imagine you get kidnapped with the, with the person. Yeah, for real. At that point, you just you just point and yell out what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Kidnap, kidnap, kidnap. <laughs> for, for other, than, other than, um, you know, yeah, other than yelling, one of the best things you can do for, like, a kidnapping, I feel, is get the license plate down. For yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, about it. And then call the cops, license plate. Whoop whoop, I just saw them. But, so, but I guess like most people, like under pressure, like they don't be thinking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if anybody has. Well, yeah, there's probably stories out there where somebody mm-hmm. ran, actually like ran out, followed the car, mm-hmm. and you know, get like, the license plate, mm-hmm. or actually did something. You know what I mean? Probably. Yeah, Damn, bro. And those people are heroes. Keep doing what you're doing, but yeah. I might not. Yeah, I'm not suitable. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I just be minding my own business. You know Most of the time, yeah. I just mind my own business. Whatever I see, I'm just like, okay. Like, I know what's going around around me to an extent. But then, like, anything, any shady shit, nah, I don't really care. That's not me. It ain't me, though. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody took somebody, like, food, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you take my food. Nah. So what? Buy some more. You're running after somebody who took somebody's purse? Nah. Is she, is she bad, bro? <laughs> is she bad? What if we get your ass kicked, bro? 
That's what I'm saying, B. It's like, it's not my shit. And then then she's like, damn, you you weak, Nah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck that. Nah, because if it was my shit getting stolen, that purse probably wouldn't run for me. So, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. First of all, my purse ain't getting stolen. Yeah. Ain't no way how. <laughs> I keep a forty-five in my purse. <laughs> no, fuck With a brick. With a brick. <laughs> my man's running slow. <laughs> if I got your block in there, <laughs> fuck you got it. Brick. A brick. You got a brick here. Well, one of them, I'm a dude, and I don't care shit like that. <laughs> you got, just got bricks. What you got in there? A brick and a padlock. <laughs> You're breaking some steak in there. Yeah. <laughs> That brings the tenderized meat, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think a man cares in his purse? <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, stupid. You gotta have makeup in there, stupid. <laughs> I keep bacon in there, yeah. Bacon and beer, baby. <laughs> My <football> boy. <laughs> My boy, boy. <laughs> Stealing a purse, what do you think you're getting? I mean, you're getting the wallet, yeah, but at that point. Well, you're you getting kinda... number credit cards at this point. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got a card reader, but I don't know. What to tell you. Yeah. Well, people could scan, like, people have, like, credit card scanners, like, Hidden, you know, just those are smart nerds, man. Yeah, they just fucking, hang out in cars all day. The nerds is the one who makes the fucking the, the, those fucking nerds, bro. They ruin people's lives. G, okay, they're the like, ones you're scared yeah. about. The fucking thugs that you know, like fucking mug you. Okay, yeah, whatever. That's fucking twenty five dollars in my light. Yeah, and my license. Is not go outside. And, yeah, you know for what I mean? real. <laughs> but like, the fucking nerds, dude, they hack into your shit. Or get they all your financials, be. Like, I've taken ass beat. Like, I've got my ass beat before, bro. You feel me? I can handle that shit. But I don't think I could recover from financial instability. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, your assets get yeah, frozen, yeah. dude. I don't think I could do that, bro. Like, identity theft, I don't think I could bounce back. That, that's a tough one. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Beat my ass, dude. <laughs> you know what you I'm saying? Fucking break my shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck, but just let me, let me, don't don't take my the social security. <laughs> you know what I mean? Please. Please. Not my 401k. Not my 401k. <laughs> my please. stocks. I just opened this Roth IRA, dude. <laughs> you can't take the money out yet, Come bro. On, you gotta wait till you're 65. <laughs> please. Please. You start begging. You're like, please. You're like talking to your computer because, like, you see, you see your entire life just crumble in yeah, front of you. Bro. The guy has you on webcam. Like, please don't, please. You can't do that shit, bro. Oh, did you see, Did you hear the story of the guy who hired a hitman on himself? Yeah. That, I, I heard that fucking That shit was cool bro That shit was uh, interesting Damn bro You think you could survive that? Nope <laughs> <laughs> What it was like a challenge to him? Like a little game? Cause, Cause the thing The story was right He was working his office job Blah 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 He was bored with his life And then he went out He And he would always go on the dark web So then he would see like Oh you could hire him And this isn't that So he was like Oh I'll just Hire him on myself And then try to stay alive As long as I could But he wants to die At the end of the day like, like it was like oh if he, he gets me yeah it. yeah he wanted to just be excited you feel me so he turned it into like oh come find me like you feel me challenging the hitman type shit and then he ends up killing the hitman he yeah. killed the hitman yeah that's fucking crazy dude. and then uh, that's cool yeah and then he became the hitman yeah and then he became the hitman is that how is that how like hitmans are born I don't know dude <laughs> dude how do you become a hitman man I actually just start killing that. people bro like yes I I because you got to be good at it. You can't be like some fucking Joe yeah, Schmo. Anyone could, it, Anyone could kill somebody. Anyone could kill somebody. So I guess, so I guess you just have to kill like high profile targets, bro. <laughs> this like, guy, I'm bro, pretty sure you got this work- guy came out here with the fucking. He's like high profile targets. You know what I mean? Like, like you got to, you got to, yeah, bro, like the president. <laughs> no, you gotta, no, but that's how you get the big bucks, bro. Yeah, that's. I how mean, you get the little guys. No, how you get, because how do you get the ten grand? <laughs> because I'm saying, bro, hitman, True. hitman, like to me, bro, is a title. Like, okay, like you got tools. You feel me? No, because hitman to me is you can get away with shit. Well, yeah, tools like tools to get away with shit. But I, like a hired gun, you feel me? Somebody just shoot somebody, bro. That those are the people you give the five grand to, the ten people, mm. dubs and shit. You like I'm pretty sure to like be like a good hitman, you gotta like first off like work your way up, obviously in anything. Okay, you're not just what born good at go killing to? somebody. <laughs> what clothes do you go to? I feel like I feel like a hitman could be able to clean up after his murder. Like what if you're on Fiverr? You know what I mean? And, and <laughs> you're scrolling like down, yeah. man. <laughs> I feel like I feel like like you just paying just somebody. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like if you just paying somebody off the street, they'll just shoot him. I feel like a hitman will like kill him and then clean it up. You feel me? Make like untraceable. Ready. Yeah. Like go like he goes missing. Yeah. Like no motive, no nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I know yeah. that, but People, I'm saying like, how do you how how what, I feel what do you like, get into that? I feel like uh, typically you'd have to be like for rent. <laughs> you'd have to be like a gray man for that one. You feel me? Like you you're off the radar. You got no traceable. Anything. You no feel passports, me? no IDs. You feel me? Like you just go you, around it somehow. Yeah. And then, you know, you're killing people. I feel like you'd have to work for like mafia. NASA. At that point, NASA, is yeah. it is it like if you damn that 
I guess if, I guess that's the way. If I was born into a village, or some I, shit, nobody knew who the fuck <laughs> I was ever. I guess it's coming hit, man. I guess I guess that's that's. I I didn't think about that, but crime organizations, crime organ, because you you have to work your way up. Because like, yeah, that's probably how people get started, right? Mafia, they get into like organized crime or some shit like yeah. that. They start killing people yeah. for money, and then they get better at it, and then it's like, oh, that's my hit guy. That's my hit man. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. uh, probably right. In a yeah. simpler way, yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I you feel know, like, you just, I guess, I guess, I feel like, like there's no wanna... recruiters. <laughs> Yeah, the the, the recruit high school high school how is you, very limited hit man. How do you like, like cut recruiters. the middle man men mm -hmm. the middle men of all those organizations? You just be like, yo, can you trade me as an apprentice, bro, or like you have a service or something? Here's my card. Like, <laughs> here's my card. Yeah. Here's my resume. It's my you know calling I mean? card. Like, where do you apply? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Apply if you're not places. in the organized crime, you mm. just don't want to be affiliated with no, none of those things. Mm. Where do your taxes go? <laughs> I feel no, like hitmen do more than just. Kill people though. They probably can abduct people too. Maybe they are artists. And they paint They're them. artists. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the musicians. <laughs> the musicians are the hitmen. What did you say before? Sorry. Fucking. I don't even remember what when I was I saying. When I cut you off. I don't remember what I was saying. They do more than kill. What? I'm pretty sure they do more than kill. Like I feel like you can like abduct them or whatever because they they're smart guys. They can get away with murder. They're smart guys. I think it depends on what your service thing. Because like, I feel just... like hitmen. You think of hitmen. You think of oh, just killing. But no, they're probably like you know involved in like you know killing like fucking uh, human trafficking because they can. They're smart. They can work their way around that. So they. I guess that's part of their side jobs. It's like yeah, on the side, you know, I do human trafficking. <laughs> but I feel like there's probably some hitmen in in the army and forces. hit women. Come on, guys! It's 2021. Yeah, man. but <laughs> yeah, but hit hit hitmen sounds so cool. Yeah, hitman. Hitman. I mean, imagine hit being Agent 47, bro. Hit woman. <laughs> hit woman. Don't do that. <laughs> you don't. You don't hit women. <laughs> hit woman is a no no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to not do that. Yeah. Ooh. Hit lady. <laughs> Sucker, I say don't do that. It's <laughs> controversial up here. Dude. Yeesh. But yeah, fucking um, fucking hey. Eh? Nah, but. I feel like there's probably some in the government officials that are hitmen. For sure, dude. Like, yo, get rid of this guy. Incognito. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So, yeah. So, if anybody's over there looking for some hitmen, <laughs> you know, email me. <laughs> you got three eligible bachelors right here. <laughs> Name your price. Name your price. I know how I'll to do vacuum. it for 50 chicken nuggets. <laughs> I know how to sweep. <laughs> I know how to map. I use Fabuloso. Uh, and Windex. <laughs> Ox clean foot bathtubs. Them chemicals. Strong. Uh, at that point, you're a janitor who knows how to kill, yeah. right? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, Just basically. A janitor who knows how to kill. Dude, all janitors are hitmen. Oh, you cracked the code, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you become a hitman. Yeah. You, you apply a for a janitor. And That's then, why they're so well paid. And then, and then work your way up. <laughs> yeah. Garbage man. They Sanitation department. Dude. That's what all mafia. That's Damn, all fucking bro. It all connects. That's their, oh, that's, their, that's their front. Waste management. Crazy, bro. Waste management is the mafia. Damn, bro. Waste management. We solved it. We cracked the code, bro. Where were we 70 years ago? Or whenever the mafia was popping. Are they still popping? The Italian popping. All the bad jobs yeah. that people don't want to do. All mafia already. Yeah. There you go. You don't want to be dog walker. You, you don't want to <laughs> imagine that being your front. You don't want to be cremated. You don't want mattress to be king. Mattress king. There you go. Now Mortician. Yeah, morticians, man. Shut People up. People who work in um, autopsies, hiding evidence. Hmm. Optometrists. I think we solved a bunch of cold cases. There uh, we go. You're we welcome. Accept, we accept check visa, <laughs> credit card, and, and uh, thank you cards. <laughs> So and thank fuck you letters. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening to the Foreign Energies podcast. Just hungry, bro. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. I, was, yeah. I, I know we were about to end it. That's why yeah. I kept adding like little I'm, stuff yeah, quickly. I'm feeding all the energy over here, Dean. Uh -huh. But thank you for listening to the Foreign Energies podcast. Boom, this was boom. episode sixty. I'm Will. That's Jose. That's Dan. Watch the next one. The last one. This one. Keep Follows. a cyanide pill on you and all yeah, times. always. And uh, as always, you're a white screen. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. White screen. Aha, uh -huh, you didn't set the white screen button, did you? Fuck you. How was that? <laughs>